Welcome to Storytime with Grammy Field. Today I have another Tractor Mac book. This one is called Harvest Time by Billy Steers. There's about eight more books and I couldn't find them at the library. They don't have them and my daughter doesn't have them so we'll just have to keep an eye out to find them. And when I find them, we'll add them to the readings. But today it's about harvest time. Tractor Mac noticed it first. The nights were getting cooler. The corn was ready to harvest and the huge orange pumpkin patch signs were set up across the road from Stony Meadow Farm. It says here, Pumpkin Pickin' Festival. That sounds like fun. It was time for the neighboring farm's Pumpkin Picking Festival. Every fall, children from all over came to ride the hay wagon that small Fred the tractor pulls up and down the hills to the pumpkin patch. People pick their pumpkins and small Fred takes them back to the farm stand for refreshments and games. It must be fun to watch the children try to guess the big pumpkin's weight or to find their way through the hay maze, said Mac. I wish we had pumpkin picking festival at Stony Meadow Farm. The hay rides, all the happy children, all the big pumpkins. You will have to bring in the apples to the cider mill, Sibley the horse reminded him. It's that time of year too, you know. Max shuddered. The apple orchard. Ugh. Mac remembered last fall in the apple orchard, his exhaust stack caught on limbs. His big tires tangled in the branches. Apples fell off the trees when he passed and made him sticky. Yes, it's that time of year too, said Mac with a sigh. Small Fred had seen the apple time sign go up across the road at Stony Meadow Farm. Oh no, it must also be time for the pumpkin picking festival, Small Fred said to Pepper the cat. I can barely pull this hay wagon. The pumpkins are too heavy and the children are too noisy. It's not peaceful and quiet like that beautiful apple orchard, Small Fred added. It's that time of year, Fred, Pepper meowed. Tractor Mac wove through the apple trees the following day. I'm just too big for this small orchard, he groaned to Sibley the horse. Branches poked his grill and nearly toppled his exhaust stack. Apples are a useful crop, said Sibley. You can make applesauce, apple pies, apple cider, apple cider vinegar. Okay, okay, said Mac. It's just that, whoop, Mac's big tire hit an apple tree. Tractor Mac and Farmer Bill were showered with apples. <laughs> I've never had apples fall on me like that. I can imagine. Oh dear, look at that picture there. <laughs> Farmer Bill put Tractor Mac in reverse and to back up, whoop, another apple tree dumped its apples. Hold on, Mac, said Farmer Bill with a laugh or we'll have nothing but applesauce left. You look smashing, buzz the bees. <laughs> the bees do like the apples. <laughs> I'm sorry, his expression is quite hilarious to me. He doesn't look happy though. All right, back at the cider mill, Farmer Bill washed off the apple pulp from Tractor Mac while the big cider press worked away. You're not the only one having a hard time today, Mac, said Sam the Ram. Look at small Fred over there. Mac could see customers unloading their pumpkins from Fred's wagon. Small Fred couldn't pull the heavy load back up the hill to the farm stand. Where is that? It's kind of hard to see in that picture up way in the back. Hmm, Farmer Bill said, you know, a pumpkin patch has much more room to move around in, Mac. I think 
There may be a better job for a big tractor like you. Mac wheeled down the hill, across the road, and over to where small Fred sat with his half-empty wagon. Soon, Mac was pulling the pumpkin wagon loaded with happy, singing passengers up the hill to the farm stand. Hooray! shouted the children. Small Fred went across the road to the apple orchard at Stony Meadow Farm. You fit perfectly under the apple trees, hummed the, bird, the bees. Small Fred was very happy. The air smelled of apples, and the orchard was peaceful and quiet. At the end of the day, everyone met back at the Pumpkin Pickin' Festival. Farmer Bill and Small Fred brought apple cider to share. Small Fred's owner gave Farmer Bill and Tractor Mac the biggest, grandest pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. I'm glad we could help each other out, Small Fred said. We got to share the work and share the fun, said Tractor Mac. And that's what happens when we all come together. We don't always have to do the jobs we're hired for or the jobs that we're meant to do, but we can help each other. Thank you so much for joining me for Storytime.